Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Today I have my September Stitch Fix. Um, before we get into that though, I guess there's a Stitch Fix tea sort of a thing out there. So I saw this on another channel and then I basically kind of Googled it myself and it seems like a stylist on Reddit has been saying things and so take, take it with a grain of salt. But it sounds like the style pass is coming to an end. I really hope that's not true because I don't think I would get as many stitch fixes if I don't have the style pass. Um, there was a time where I did two a month. Now I am pretty much down to one a month, which I probably would always do one a month. Um, and I am always a person who, if I like something, I buy something. But according to this site, that 30% of the people who have style passes get a fix every two weeks and then send it back. They don't buy anything. And so I don't know whether it's the YouTubers like getting boxes to send back. I don't really know. Um, but I wish that they would just terminate their style pass versus punishing the rest of us. <clears throat> so that kind of sucks that I think some people are going to ruin it for everybody. Um, but if you just Google Stitch Fix, they are not doing well. Their stock prices keep falling. They're just not doing well. The, I guess the um, amount of customers is declining, not going up. Um, another sort of source like that was basically saying that Stitch Fix wants the stylist to get, like basically sell four items every fix. Well, I just think that's kind of insane because not everybody has that kind of money. Um, like if I, ca I couldn't get a Stitch Fix every month if I kept four items. Um, I do generally keep what I love. Um, but I'm happy getting one or two items a month. So I feel like they are in trouble. Um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to mention with that, but now I'm going to forget. Um, but anyway, it just sounds dismal. Um, I guess they're supposed to theoretically, there would be a new incentive program out, but I don't know. I don't know the when or the whatever. I really hope that's wrong. But anyway, sad. Um, last fix, I did keep a five for five. I did love everything pretty much. There was like one piece that I didn't necessarily love, love, but with stitch, stitch fix math, it makes sense. I will say this box is not my favorite. I will also say if you guys ever get a box that's not your favorite, try everything on. What does it hurt? Just because this is kind of an eh box for me, I could absolutely love it when I try it on. So I do have uh, the same stylist. Thank God. I finally have kept a stylist for a while. Her name is Renee. Um, uh, also, though, I do believe they see what you save. So I would go through and save some things. Like um, when you look like Shop Your Look or Freestyle, you can like pin it basically. And so they see that. That being said, I pinned some Nakamol earrings, if I'm saying that right. Um, they didn't say it. Oh, I remember now. I'm sorry. I'm so whatever. Uh, another um, stylist was saying that, you know, we as the public feel like they have like thousands of pieces to choose from. I guess here lately, ever since COVID or the last year or whatever, inventory has been really, really low. And so it doesn't help that if all these fixes go out, that ties up the inventory. So inventory is also low. Anyway, that kind of ties in to my earrings. When I pin those earrings, I want those earrings. I don't want another pair um, I do think sometimes it would help if they shipped from another location. But anyway, these are beautiful earrings. I just, I like them better in person than I did in my preview. Uh, Nakamo, they are handmade. These are beautiful. I mean, they really are nice. Um, the Palma bead drop earring, pink, $48. I went through my closet and I pretty much have like maybe one or two tops and the other ones that I had pinned were like very versatile where you could pretty much wear them with anything and I think they were also slightly cheaper um these are beautiful I do love them so much more in person if they would stop moving I do love them more in person than I did on the preview but I just for $50 I want them to be something I can wear a lot and this to me is too statementy. Like you really need, like it wouldn't to me go with like a loud top per se. So this is definitely, definitely going back. Um, I had liked this when I did the style, whatever, where you can like different clothes. 
and I denied it in my preview. I will say both previews were terrible. Um, I, if you don't know, you can get two previews. If you don't like anything from your first preview, you can have them redo your preview. I liked nothing in my preview. I had them redo it. I only picked one thing for my next preview. It claims that your second preview is done by your stylist. I don't believe it at all. So I turned this handbag down in the preview. So I find it interesting that they gave it to me anyway. Now, this is really pretty. I like it mostly. This is pink. A very like white cream with a tinge of pink. And I don't like the pink part, although I don't think it's very obvious. I did ask for a handbag with an outside pocket. This does have an outside pocket. This is by um, American Leather Company on their website. It's $175. I don't know whether that one's bigger. This is only $138. And it's the Lincoln Hobo. The price is really my sticking point. If this was a $60 bag, I would keep it. And I understand that for a leather bag, you're not going to get that. Uh, my other problem is it's also the leather I... Um, I'm not sure. I'm sure there's a name, but I'm fairly sure this is the leather that's going to get scratched easily. I don't know for sure, but if you go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls, they have tons of a leather, true leather bags for pretty much like $60, $65, but generally they're scratched because it's easy to scratch. I, I do... I, I do love it. It's the price for me. It's also, this is one of those bags that I feel like it's style, more stylish than I am. I am not one of those fashionista stylish people. I never have. I never will. And that's totally fine. I just feel like this bag is too stylish for me. That is even a thing. I do like it a lot. Um, it does come with a dust bag. It has a zipper, zipper and then some pockets, which... Um, just kind of a plain tan. This is beautiful. Um, I really, they had two colors. I forget what the other color was. I don't, yeah, you can already tell on the pink part. I don't know whether it's visible, but the pink part already has some scuffs. Um, I am not a gentle person. I, I just am not gentle with my bags. I'm not going to be gentle. There are no feet, so you'd have to be careful where you put this. But I think even from just being in the box, it has a couple scuffs on the pinkish white part. So that's my thing. Um, this is the leather that's going to scuff. And it's $138. So as pretty as it is, I just, like I said, 60 bucks, I would keep it. I just can't. I am, I don't think I'm going to be keeping it. Now, let's get to the clothes. I'm going to be honest. I really don't have much hope for them, um, but we will see. This is a Market and Spruce top in 3X. They picked it. I am not a fan of yellow. Uh, yellow generally, I mean, it's not generally. Yellow looks terrible on me. Now, granted, this is black with yellow. Um, it's a yellow and gray. If it was any other color but yellow, this could potentially be a keeper. Um, I do like the style of the top. It does not have the tab sleeves. They are elastic. It has a smocking somewhere. Maybe. Maybe I'm not smocking. It has a pocket. I thought there was smocking. Um, it does have like a little button detail, which I'm sure it's hard to see. I'm almost thinking this is rayon. And I'm going to tell you, I just don't want rayon. I did keep a rayon last time. I did try the stretch method. I haven't tried it again. I do think the stretch helped. This is 100% rayon. Um, so we will see. It might knock my socks off when I get it on. This is the Pratt Henley 3-4 sleeve in black, $44. Um, I just don't think it's going to look well enough for me to keep it. This is the item I picked. I don't normally like Bobo, Bobe, however you say it. Because in my opinion, it runs tiny. But this was like a cardigan slash blazer sort of a thing. It had an interesting like kind of color pattern. It's like a gray, but black. I will say in person, it looks like that fabric that will pill. I think it's three-fourths sleeve with like, it has a kind of a ruched sleeve. Um... 
It was the only thing that looked interesting and it did look like a fancier cardigan. So I am excited to try this on. It's lightweight, it's soft. But again, I'm fairly sure that looks like it's gonna pill to all heavens. This is the Thora Herringbone Cardigan 2X, $58 in black. I will say the inside is different than the outside, but not by like too much. So I am kind of excited to see how this looks if it has kind of a blazery look. Um, so this is a possibility. It's $58. And then they put jeans. I don't need jeans. I mean, I could always use a pair. If they fit, I would keep them. It's hard for me to find jeans. But I just bought a pair of jeans, which I think is what they were going for. This is Democracy, and I used to love Democracy. I just think my body type changed. Prior, I don't know whether it's prior to being pregnancy or prior to whatever, I did like Democracy because they have a stretchy waist. The problem for me generally is Democracy isn't high rise enough. At this point, I really need 11 to 12 inch rise to get over my um, apron stomach. Um, these are a straight leg. I'm also not quite sure they're long enough. We will see. Um, these are $88, which is um, a normal price for them. This is the Natalie Absolution straight leg jean. Um, we will see how they fit, but his jeans are a needle in the haystack for me. Anywho, Let's get to the try on. I'm just saddened. Uh, these boxes are really where I get 90% of my clothes. I do not have luck buying at the store. So the style pass going away is sort of sad because this box is a box where I would potentially lose $20 unless those clothes knock my socks off. And anymore, I'm not necessarily swayed to buy something just because I'm losing $20 um, unless it's really close to the $20 mark. Anywho, I think Stitch Fix is in trouble. Fingers crossed they can pull it out, pull out of it. But anyway, let's get to the try on. All right, I am back with this top. Um, I just, it's not a love for me. I also don't like the rayon. I haven't put on that one top that I had in rayon to see whether it really truly stretched out and looks good. Um, so I love the sleeves. I love the v-neck um i do think a lot of these two x's are way too big in the bust i don't have i guess you know plus size busts um in the stomach this is just barely fitting so if the rayon shrank it would not work and so i often don't like it up here because again it's fairly i have a, a probably four inches of extra fabric in this general general area so if it was a different color and it wasn't rayon, it might be some kind of winner. It is not though for me. Um, I was really hoping for some snazzy earrings. I really, I kept these like, I don't know, at some point. Um, I kept them last time or no, these were from actually Wantable, I think, Never mind. So these are really pretty, but they're not gonna be keepers. And I know they're moving all over. These are very specific. You have to have like a navy shirt or something. So even though they're beautiful, handmade, quality beads, not keeping them. Um, let's see what this looks like. This would not be the top I wear it with. Um, I feel for personally, I almost feel like Bobe is a cheaper brand. Um, it actually fits. It is long sleeve, which I was kind of hoping for a three quarter sleeve. I don't, I don't know. Like I may have to try on with another top. Um, right off the cuff, my, I'm kind of saying no. This, like it has like ruching. It's very itchy. This one is very itchy, like the ruching, whatever they sewed the ruching with, it's very itchy. Um, otherwise it's soft. I don't mind it. But I'm not in love with it. I don't know. I'll try it on with something else, but I'm, I'm really like leaning towards, this is a zero for zero or you know what I mean? Zero out of five. Now the purse. 
is so pretty. I do love that it has a pocket. I don't like the pink. On camera, I'm not sure it's coming across. In person, it's like, you know, a, a tinge of pink. This is the perfect size strap for me. I just think this is so cute. Like I would feel like cute going out and about town. I just, on the weekends, I'm not generally cute. <laughs> so going to work, this comes to work and then is shoved in a closet and then comes back home. So I do think this is so adorable. If it was a leather that I knew would not scratch, it would probably be worth the $138. This is a new, unique item I've never seen on Stitch Fix. I appreciate that they have this. Um, I just, I think it's going to get scratched. Like there's already, it's hard to tell on the pink part, but, but you can see it's already like, it's going to have scratches. And I, I keep talking about it. I feel sorry that I'm going to probably send everything back this month. This is really pretty, but I've seen purses like this at TJ Maxx and they just is scuffed. And I'm not gentle on anything. So this is super cute. I wish it was even 75 bucks and I would probably keep it. This is the only item that I'm kind of torn. But I just know if I keep this, it's just going to get nicked all to come. And I don't think I can spend $138 on something that's going to tear up. All right, we have one more thing to try on, which is the pants. All right, I have the pants on. Technically, they fit. Um, so it is a stretch. I had to really stretch them. Definitely have a muffin top. They are pretty much exactly the perfect length. Honestly, I, I don't know. Straight leg are not my favorite. I really prefer like a boot cut. They are not bad. I mean, they fit really nice if the top part was just a hair bigger. I don't know. I am probably not um, keeping these just because they're not a love, love, love. I don't know. I may wear them around and see. They're $88. Um, and again, a, they're a pushing up my stomach quite a bit. Um, I don't know. They might um, stretch out a little bit. Um, these could turn into a maybe, but probably not. Um, they do, they do look good. Give me a second here. I just wanted to see how they would look. I generally, I wear clogs almost to work because I have, ah, if I don't fall over. Super wide feet. I need super good arch support. And these are like the dance go clogs. Often my problem with straight leg is I do not like how they look with a clog style shoe. Um, actually not terrible, but it's not my favorite either. I will say these are a little baggy in the knee. So I don't know, it's not terrible, but I'm probably not keeping them. I was just thinking about this. I wonder if the stylist took into account that I didn't pick it for my preview. I feel like had she paid attention, I didn't pick it in my preview. I wish she had sent me another purse. Um, I had wanted a purse. Anyway, this is super cute, super, super cute. I wish I could keep it. I just can't. I know it's gonna get scuffed up and it's too expensive for that. So anyway, you win some, you lose some, you know, last month it was a five for five and this month I think I'm sending it all back. Anyway, thank you so much. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you soon.